Hey guys, I can't believe that I'm coming to you looking like this, but I am. Same shirt I had on yesterday. I actually didn't have this on until just a few minutes ago. And the tornado warning got so close that I still had my pajamas on. <laughs> and I went in there and threw some clothes on. And this was laying there where I had taken it off yesterday. I'm going to turn you around and show you the TV to where we are still. You see all the severe weather is still all around us. But we are actually in the clear right now. But I'm telling you, tornadoes have been popping up all around us this afternoon. And just crazy storms. And at one point, it was to the east of us. Just a few miles over where John's mother and them live. There was um, rotation in the air. And then coming up from the back side of us at one point. So it's been crazy. So I went there and threw on some clothes the real reason that I'm getting on here is if you watched my video from yesterday so many of y'all had commented um, about my uncle Mitch how cute he was and uh, I took mother to the hospital Tuesday and uh, they had tried to put a feeding tube in Monday and ran into some kind of obstacle in his stomach and so they actually did the surgery today. Uncle Mitch turned 89 in January. And um, it's, as I told y'all in that video, it's Uncle Mitch, my Aunt Joyce, which is my mother's youngest sister, and my mom that's all left. And uh, I didn't feel like going at all. Just was hurting really, really bad, but we had such a great time, and I just, something just told me to video him, and just to make some pictures and everything, because I've been taking my mother to visit on a pretty much every other week basis to him, because he's been, he's been in the hospital in and out uh, for the last few months, but um, they did the surgery on him this morning, and it was a hernia that was the obstruction there, and they were able to put the feeding tube in, and, um, his vitals stayed good. He was so weak when we were out there the other day. His vitals stayed good, and he woke up a little bit after the surgery. And my brother took my mother off for a little while, and um, he called and said something. This is my mom. Hold on. Uh, as I was saying, Dana took um, my mom off for a little while today to get her out of the house. And so we had not heard from the surgery how Uncle Mitch was doing. And Dana said, well, do you think I need to ride out to the hospital? And I said, I really do. I really wish you would go out there because it's hard for cell phones to pick up and everything. And so he went on out there and he called me and he told me that he was out of surgery, that his vitals had held up good during surgery and that he had been awake. They were just trying to get him to wake up now at this point and everything. And uh, said, you know, but they they were able to get the feeding tube in and everything. It wasn't 30 minutes later. He called me back and he said, um, Uncle Mitch is taking a turn for the worse. His vitals are dropping. His oxygen level is very low. And um, they went to my Aunt Joyce and said um, that his oxygen was dropping so low that, um, that they... Um, if he was going to survive, they needed to put him on a ventilator. And they had discussed it. And Aunt Joyce said, no, she wasn't going to put him on a ventilator. And so they said, basically, all they could do was send him back to the room and keep him comfortable. And um, he's going home to be with the Lord. And he... Uh, <laughs> He's a character. He's been a great uncle. They went to every birthday party of all of our kids that they were invited to. They've been here for birthdays, special occasions. Uh, slowed way down the last few years, but love to come eat John's grilled hamburgers. It's just been precious people to us, but he's walking the streets of gold right now. And uh, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have made this video normally, but since I had just shared the video with y'all yesterday, 
of him. I just wanted you to know that he went home to be with the Lord. Him and my Aunt Joyce have been married. I don't know, 67, 68, 69 years, something like that. He uh, turned 89 in um, January. And um, so we're going to miss him. Now it's my Aunt Joyce and she's going to be lost. But she has children that lives around her. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he was struggling to talk, as y'all saw. But uh, he pointed that finger who his favorite niece was. <laughs> He has several favorite nieces. So we're rejoicing in his life. We're sad that he's gone. But I am so glad. That's the reason, guys, that we live life without any regrets. There's so many times that I do things for my mother when I feel like crap. When I don't feel like going. I don't feel like talking. I don't feel like going to buy groceries. I don't feel like getting her out of the house. But you know what? One of these days when I come on here and tell y'all that she's going on to be with the Lord, no regrets. No regrets. And I'm so glad that we went out there Tuesday and that we've been going to visit him on a regular basis. And I can say no regrets. So I just wanted to come on here and give y'all an update that we're okay. There's still, there's still tornado warnings now for St. Clair County, which is one county over from us. Uh, and uh, it's just been a crazy weather day and I know that's one reason that my jaw pain and ear pain has been so bad the last few days um, but to give you an update there and then to let you know that little precious fella that you saw in the video yesterday he's whole again he is whole and he is with the Lord so I love you guys and I just wanted to share it with you bye